Uh, hey guys, I'm James Thomason. I'm an actor with Theatre Inc. My career in acting began with an audition I got from my English teacher, Peter Stoomer, uh, for a production for Shakespeare Under the Stars when I was 14. So I got an email and my teacher was like, hey, you should try out for this, you like drama. And I've just hung around like a bad smell ever since. I didn't know anything about acting. I just copied uh, a, a short YouTube clip from Ian McKellen and, and I guess it worked, so yeah. I was, like a lot of people in, in the Richard III in 2010, there was a lot of young people and Terry and Brendan uh, were like, wow, you know, there's, there's still a wealth of talent here like when we were here in, you know, the 90s and the 2000s, but there's no platform for them to get better. So initially it was a little bit of self-interest, it was like we want to train these young people to be better actors so we can put them in their shows so the shows can be better. But then it turned to a, into a thing of, oh, they actually want to do this as a career. So the Bridge Project was formed and it was different to any other kind of model that was out there. It was a practical mentorship. So you're actually doing the thing that you're going to be doing when you want to be employed, whether that was acting, whether that was interviews, whether that was technician stuff. You learnt everything and you learnt it by doing it, which I think is probably the best model. And so I did that for a few years and then I was lucky enough for Terry and, Brenton to, uh, Terry and Brendan to offer me a job. So I was able to work full time as an actor in Townsville for two years uninterrupted, which to all of my mates down south was unheard of. But to me, it didn't seem very strange at all because that's what we all did. We all, we all worked in every different element of, um, of performing arts. As, you know, we have Dance North here. We have the Australian Festival of Chamber Music. We have a lot. We have Great Barrier Reef Orchestra. We have three music theatre companies. We have a, a, a plethora of galleries. We have such a wealth of arts and performing arts here in Townsville that you don't really see anywhere else in all different disciplines. The bridge was instrumental in getting me into WAPA because not only did I have 15 shows under my belt, I had the true confidence of a professional. I didn't feel like there was any chinks in my armour when it came to being an actor. I knew I was good, I knew I could do it, and so that gave me a humility when going into the audition. I didn't need it, I wanted it, and so that helped to no end. Uh, I was very fortunate when I went to WAPA that, again, we were doing five shows a year. So when I graduated, I had a whole bunch of shows under my belt, short films, and so I just went out and started jobbing because I hadn't had that experience yet of just being an actor for hire. So I did that and then landed a um, two-year touring contract with a, um, a touring children's theatre, theatre and education uh, company called Poultry in Action, which I, I wanted to grab by the horns because I remember being that kid when I was 11 years old, watching the theatre and education shows come around, I went, I want to do that. And it was Belle Shakespeare, who I've worked with a, a, a few times now doing different developments and projects with. So it's really cool being full circle, a part of that process. Yeah. Initially, no one knew about the bridge when I, when I finished, but now we've just got people everywhere. So it's got this golden ticket name about it. Like you ask any drama school and they're, oh yeah, something's really in the water in Townsville whether it be for actors, whether it be for stage managers, whether it be for technicians, whether it be for, for agents, um, and so many other, again, other arts disciplines that people down south, people everywhere who aren't from Townsville are going, wow, something's really happening in Townsville, and they seek out the talent that is here. The Shakespeare Under the Stars that we have here in September, it's a jewel of the north for, for you know, tourism and for events here, outdoor events, and it's the longest running Shakespeare in the country, I'm pretty sure. We're so lucky here in Townsville to have beautiful people like Terry and Brendan. We're also lucky to have the support from the community that, that we do. And I don't think um, this company, I don't think my life would be where I am without the support of the Townsville community. It's just, even though we're a big city, everyone rallies around to, to support and help people. And that's really beautiful. So we're just about to finish a season of a play called Orphans by Dennis Kelly here in the new Clubhouse uh, Studio Theatre in Cottle Street. 
And so once we finish that, we go straight down to Sydney and we remount the play there for a Sydney audience. And it's the first time that we've had a co-production Theatre Inc. show go to C Sydney and be put on there. So when we get down to Sydney, we're going to be performing uh, at a place called Flow Studios in Camperdown uh, from the 18th of March to the 27th of March. As soon as we finish our season in Sydney, we're going to start on the next show and hopefully involve more bridge alumni and Townsville people that we know in Sydney so that we can just grow our, um, our little family down there.